Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you my 112th scale Jason Voorhees figure from Mezco Toys. Uh, it's from Jason, or Friday the 13th, Part 3. And um, I got this as a gift for my girlfriend for my birthday. And I usually don't collect 112th scale. I usually collect 1 6 scale figures. Yeah. But um, she got me this figure and it actually looks really, really cool. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a 1 6 scale figure. And... Uh, yeah, I'll show you um, everything it comes with. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is how the figure looks. Um, this is how I have him posed. Uh, we'll start off with the head sculpt um, and the mask. The mask com is removable. And it uh, kind of reminds me of a... It's, like, it's kind of like a flexible plastic, kind of like a rubbery kind of plastic. Um... You know, it's pretty nice, fits on his face perfectly, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the head sculpt, pretty nice, it kind of reminds me of the 1-6 scale head sculpts that I've seen out there. Um, it uh, does look like the uh, actor from the movie, or the makeup from the movie, the mask from the movie. But it reminds me of Jason from the movie. Uh, moving down, we have his green shirt. Um, for one twelfth scale, it really is pretty nice. Not sure how well you can see that. It's kind of dark. We'll blend white a little bit. And yeah, there we go. I just had to angle him up a little bit. So yeah, pretty nice. And then he has a white undershirt there. And um, then we got his khaki pants. Oh, that doesn't do anything. All right. Uh, it's definitely kind of dark, but you know you can still see pretty all right. Um, you know they're just khaki pants, and then the boots. Um, you know. Everything on this figure is done pretty nice for the 112 scale. So the tailoring and everything is pretty good. Um, and then he comes with this display base. This is uh, actually pretty cool. It's a lot better than just a standard display base. So yeah, I like it a lot. Then he comes with a few different pairs of hands as well. So I'll just. The skin tone on the body doesn't really, I don't know, it matches, not really. I mean, I think the, the skin tone on the hands are a lot lighter than the body, but it's alright. It's alright. Um, then it comes with this machete. All bloodied up. And we got a hand there for holding the machete. Um, so yeah, I... I like the machete, um, I have him posed with it, that's like, uh, his signature weapon there, so, put the mask back on him. Right. Yeah, I really like that he has a removable mask, I think it's really, really cool, especially for 112 scale. So uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, all of the accessories that he comes with now. And here we go with the accessories. So the first thing I want to show you is the alternate head sculpt it comes with and the alternate mask. Uh, you can see there's a slice through it. And I really like how the, uh, the cut lines up in the head sculpt to the mask. It's really nice. Um, so the mask is bloody and it has the slice through it. And if you take the mask off... You can see the face is really bloody. And, uh, you got the slice. I like how the face is, like, bloody, like, down here. You know, it's not just up there. It's, like, all the way down the face. It's It just looks... It's a little bit more detail, which is pretty nice. Um, and then... And if you can tell, like, you can see the blood is, like, underneath the mask right there, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, 
And uh, I forgot to mention, but I'm pretty sure this is on both head sculpts with the ear. That I don't know if it was sliced off or if it's just deformed. But yeah, it's pretty pretty nice detail on that. The next thing I'll show you guys are the hands. So he comes with four alternate hands. So he comes with his hand. Kind of looks like he's grabbing someone. Um, comes with maybe like an, a relaxed hand. Comes with a hand to hold like a knife or something. Then he comes with a shooting hand. And for 112 scale, these hands are pretty nicely done. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, but some of the veins and the bones that are sculpted in the hands are really nice. Um, and on this one, you can see the lines in the palms. So, yeah. Um, and he comes with his machete. I showed that already. Um... Next, he comes with an axe, a bloody axe, and I like the detail on the metal. Even though it is a plastic piece, it uh, does have a nice, uh, I don't know if you'd call that wear or, you know, just uh, the scratches on it, but, and then the wood is pretty nicely sculpted as well. The next thing he comes with, I'll show you, is his pitchfork. It's, uh, sorry, painted, uh, with blood on there, and, um, you know, the wooden handle. It's pretty nice. Um, the fire poker, with the blood on the end. Very nice. Now, I'm not sure if he used this in the movie, or any of the movies, but a meat cleaver. Um, it has blood on the end, but I'm not sure if he used a meat cleaver. Um, if he did, uh, let me know in the comments. I know for a fact that he used this in one of the movies. And I'm pretty sure he used a fire poker in the remake. I'm not sure if he did in part three. Um, I know he used the axe. This is like his signature weapon next to the machete. Um, but I'm not sure about this one. I uh, I don't know if he used the meat cleaver. If he did, let me know, I guess. I haven't seen the movies in a while. So the most recent one I remember is the uh, remake. So, um, Then he comes with his knife. Um, I don't know if he used this knife. Um, I think he used a knife in one of the movies. I just don't know if it was part three. So, then he comes with a, um, a pipe wrench. Nice. I'm not sure if he used this. He could have. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, it's alright. It has, um, some weathering on it. Some of the paint's, like, worn away. So that's pretty cool. A little bit more detail. Then he comes with this um, harpoon, and I can guarantee you that this shooting hand is for this harpoon. Um, I know he used a harpoon in like part seven or part eight. Uh, Jason takes Manhattan. He uses a harpoon, um, but I don't know if he uses it in part three. Again, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, um, overall really great figure and he does come with a, a lot of accessories which is really really cool um so yeah and actually something i really like about this is that he comes with a one sixth or sorry one twelfth mezco bag and this is really nice i th i feel like it would be a lot better i guess if a lot more companies included a small bag um, with figures because sometimes um, I'll be posing a figure and then I'll just put all the accessories next to the figure because I don't really want to leave them in the box because I don't just want, I don't know there's not really a place to put them 
you know. But with this bag here, you can just put all the accessories right in the bag, and you'll never lose them. You know, that's, that's the thing, too, is, like, some of this stuff is, like, super small, and it can get lost very easily. So I'm really, really thankful that it comes with a bag like this. Um... But yeah, really, really nice figure. First one twelfth scale figure. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, the um, posability on this guy is pretty good. I mean, it's he has a uh, he can bend his knees. Oops, the boys display base came off. Uh, his ankles bend, so his boots are actually um. They're kind of like those, um, the Punisher, the boots from the, uh, Punisher, the Hot Toys Punisher. So it's like the bottom and then the top, and then you can pose the boots, which is pretty cool. And then it has the pegs in the bottom for the base. Um, but his legs move in and out and up and down. I usually don't do this, but I don't know. Just switching it up a bit. Uh, his shoulders and move, arms move, his... And then his head moves, and now he doesn't really have an, um, a neck movement. Um, you know, you can move his head up and back a little bit. But because um, of the um, hunchback, I don't, he's kind of limited, I think, in that area. But it's uh, really, yeah, I like this figure a lot. Um, and for my first one tall scale figure, it's, uh, it's really, really nice. Oh, wrong foot there. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, I guess like and comment or, yeah, subscribe, uh, whatever you want to do, but really nice. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can get this guy on Black Ops Toys. Uh, I'm not sure about Amazon. I know you can get him off eBay. I checked. Um, not particularly sure how much he is, but you can definitely get him off of eBay. Um. Uh, uh, but Black Ops Toys does sell a lot of uh, one twelve scale stuff, and I really like their uh, website. I, I got a lot of my one six scale stuff out there, and they're really cool. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.